Welcome back to another video, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Hamilton, and today we're going to be going through all of the trades that you need to know about for Bitcoin over the coming few days. But before we get into that, be sure to like the video and let's get on with a couple super important news stories. Breaking news! In a major legislative move, the US House of Representatives has passed a bill aimed at curbing illicit finance in the cryptocurrency space. The bill seeks to impose stricter regulations on digital asset transactions to prevent money laundering and terrorist financing. However, its future remains uncertain as it faces significant opposition in the Senate. Critics argue that the bill's strict measures could stifle innovation and hinder growth in the crypto industry in the United States. Shout out to Jesse Hamilton, representing Hamilton's. Yes, science. In other news, the SEC has given the green light to several spot Ethereum ETFs. This landmark decision marks the first time the SEC has approved spot ETFs for Ethereum, signaling a significant step towards mainstream adoption of digital assets. The approval is expected to attract institutional investors and could lead to increased liquidity and price stability for Ethereum. The market has responded positively with Ethereum prices showing an uptick following the announcement. But also not really. That's it for the news. And now back to you, T.A. Hamilton. Okay, thank you, Mr. News Hamilton. Let's jump straight into this, starting with the on-chain, then we will get into some Bitcoin trades coming through here. All right, if you like that shorter uh, news segment, just let me know. I I've kept it under a minute this time uh, because we want to get to the juicy stuff, right? So uh, if we're looking at energy value here, the important thing, as we always say, is if we get over it, just go parabolic, right? Free money for everyone. Uh, right now, that is currently at 79.1. That has jumped up a hell of a lot. Okay, so what we're going to be looking at here uh, is to see if we get over that level, right? If we get over 80k here, uh, that is the time to just buy and ride. Okay, that's that's uh, the simplest way to put that. Okay, uh, if we are looking at energy consumption here, the, the amount of money being spent on energy to mine Bitcoin starting to go up here. This is actually a pretty steep slope, super bullish here. Uh, and if we do kind of zoom out, uh, let's just take a look here. Yeah, if we zoom out here, you can see that a little bit better, uh, looking really, really positive on that front. All right, if you don't know what this is, uh, it's essentially it's essentially uh, just directly correlated like to a T with Bitcoin's tops, right? So we've got the last bull runs. Uh, sorry, the last bull run uh, was this one. Yeah, so th these are the last bull runs here. Okay, uh, and then previously before that, uh, we, we hit highs with that as well. So <clears throat> this time around, uh, we did hit a super high level. Okay, then mine has dropped off. And now it looks like we are potentially going to see some, uh, some, uh, some bullishness here coming through because with this being directly correlated with price, uh, if this goes up, we can, we can expect price to go up as well. All right, if we're looking at ETFs and nothing has changed since yesterday, total inflows here, uh, again, 383 million, lots and lots of positive days. And again, uh, I got a comment saying that um, I think uh, one of the, the main one, right, the main ETFs, uh, what was this, Grayscale, right, uh, was actually negative. This is actually putting in uh, all of them together, right? So uh, it's looking at the whole market. We're looking at BlackRock, we're looking at Grayscale, we're looking at Fidelity, ARK, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, this, this is just better data if you're looking at it like that, all right? Just based on my experience here. And uh, yeah, we don't actually have a new greed, fear and greed digit here unless I refresh this. No, nothing new here. Uh, so it says 65, 70, 71. Greed is increasing. Obviously, price is increasing as well. Uh, next update in 16 hours here. So we'll see how this goes. But uh, overall, yes, uh, looking a lot more greedy in the market. Maybe we do get uh, a bit of a downtrend to flush that out before we go absolutely mental uh, with these Bitcoin parabolic <laughs> moves here coming through. All right, still still digesting my coffee here, guys. So uh, just just give me a second here in terms of uh, the flow of this video. But uh, yeah, if we are looking at this uh, in terms of the last 24 hours, a lot of red, a lot of red here over the last 24 hours. So uh, yeah, a bit of a pullback, bit of consolidation on the charts, I would say, coming through here. And uh, yeah, also we have put the signals out here today on the Patreon. Okay, so feel free to check those out. Uh, the, uh, the free Bitcoin signal that we put out, again, this doesn't cost money, completely free. You just follow and you get this for free, right? Uh, Patreon has that really cool feature uh, where they cater to free users as well, right? So uh, we did put this signal out. Okay, we did get in that trade uh, and that trade has now been completed as we'll see in a minute, okay, when we look at the charts. But uh, yeah, just a proof in the pudding there. Free money that was 
<coughs> so we did take that short and it was pretty nice across the board. I've still got all my new stuff up here. So uh, yeah, if we look at the liquidity map, there we go. We found the right place. We can see, yeah, we just saw this downtrend happening. We were like, okay, well, we've got all these levels here that should be absorbed, all right? They're not big, thick ones. So the market makers aren't going to be scared of it, right? Um, America, American markets are kind of closed right now or, or not awake, I would say. Uh, they're all asleep over there. So uh, yeah, we would, we would expect this to be filled, just liquidate everyone overnight. Uh, and that did come into fruition, all right? It does look like we could potentially go lower here, but we're at pretty decent support right now. So we're going to wait for major level breaks before initiating any kind of shorts here. And we'll get to that in a minute, of course. Actually, no, we'll get to that right now. We'll get to that right here right now. All right, so let's jump into this. Here we can see an absolutely disgustingly messy chart, but what's important here uh, is uh, where we are in conjunction with the moving averages and the price action channel. So if we're looking at this right now, we have been riding along this price action channel throughout most of this wave, okay? Over the past kind of few uh, days here, we have been going sideways, trying to get to that next level, trying to test 70K. Uh, hasn't happened yet, okay. <clears throat> and we have been rejected off that 60 minute volume weighted ATR band as you can see here uh, multiple times. So yeah, a bit of a flush out here, looking to come down potentially down to this four hour volume weighted ATR band. If this thing holds and we go up and we break this high, really, really bullish for Bitcoin. Uh, it's just ridiculous. Okay, if we're looking at open interest, we are seeing that reflected as well with this kind of sideways consolidation area, right? People getting scared, uh, less orders are open here in the markets, all right? Uh, liquidation levels, if we're gonna bring this up to a day, because that's what matters most. Okay, we did hit that uh, last 10x thing. So again, the edge we were saying here, guys, was uh, yeah, when we do get these 10x levels come through on uh, on these liquidation levels, which is uh, basically weighted by volume and open interest. So when we get big amounts of volume, big changes in open interest, one of these lines will appear. These lines are essentially just um, leverage levels for liquidation. So if I was to open a trade uh, here, okay, and my liquidation on 10x would be these blue lines, all right? <coughs> <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, if we are looking at this, we can see uh, just the edge being very, very good here, okay? These levels do get hit, okay? Market makers do need to make money by liquidating people. So uh, yeah, that is exactly what's happened here in this longer consolidational period, okay? Uh, and uh, we do have a level down here at 58K. That is also where our CME gap is. Uh, if we are just gonna bring this to, let's just take a look here. Yeah, CME gap here down uh, at 60K, uh, as you can see there. If we do just get rid of this, get rid of, uh, get rid of this as well, we can see this very, very clearly. CME gap coming through. Uh, this needs to be filled at some point, okay? Uh, I would just say with this thing, uh, yeah, if we do start losing major lows, there'll be massive trades towards the downside to kind of fill that. We're talking about between four and 8% here, okay? Uh, yeah, so massive, massive trades. We might wanna wait for a low to break here, of course, but uh, yeah, riding that down to 60K uh, is absolutely justifiable as a trader, okay? We just wanna lose some of those major moving averages uh, on like a four hour or something like that, right? So if we bring up this four hour, get rid of those liquidation levels here, uh, we can see, yeah, if we do lose kind of these major moving averages, uh, we do have trades highlighted in between these levels, of course, as you can see here. Okay, and this is pretty much the plan coming through. Let's just talk about this right now, all right? So, uh, and thank you for liking the video as well if you haven't already. Uh, and thank you to all the Patreons, all that good stuff, YouTube members, you guys are awesome. And uh, let's carry on with the video, right? So, if we are looking at this, the next trade we're looking for, because we did just get this beautiful short here, uh, as we just talked about, right? Uh, when we were talking about the Patreon, uh, we were looking for the short down from here. Okay, so we took that, once we lost this, microstructure level, okay? We took that down uh, to around these, these areas anyway, uh, and that was a fantastic trade. We can bounce here on this price action channel, okay? And if we do, it's super bullish. So uh, yeah, we are targeting trades if, if it does wanna break over 70K there. But uh, if this is gonna be a bit more of a, a longer pullback scenario, which again, the momentum is wearing off, you are seeing that curl over, right? You are seeing that, um, that curve, right? Where the momentum's kind of dying. So uh, yeah, coming down to these levels does make sense. Uh, and what we're gonna do here is target a criteria to be hit for us to take those trades, right? So what we're gonna need here is, uh, I would expect some sideways in this area for sure, okay? But uh, I would say over today and tomorrow, uh, what we can expect here, unless we do just crash here today, what we can expect here, if we do go down to an hourly here, it's probably better, right? So. Uh, what we can expect here is if we lose these important levels, so we're look, looking around like 
k 648 that kind of zone right we want to violate those levels we want to come back up and retest all right and then once we break the low that's made okay on the first initial violation then uh, we look for that short down to the next level super simple super easy stuff but that is uh the way we're trading right now because that's the edge okay uh, so that's really what we're looking for in terms of a short for a two percent short here very very attractive short as well high win percentage okay so uh feel free to check that out i'll, I'll be updating you guys for free on the patreon about this trade tomorrow Tomorrow. Okay, so we'll see if this does come into fruition. But if it does just want to go sideways, then uh, yeah, we will we will look for potentially this trade uh, once we do break out towards the upside. But these are the two trades once we break this this sort of range area. Okay, um, so towards the upside again, 70k all the way up to about 71. And uh, as well as that, we have this massive short that we just talked about with the CME close being at 60K. Okay, so if we can find this short and if, if it is going to be a crashing scenario, and the reason why I have this as such a big percentage right now and not just 60K but lower uh, is I do believe that they will try and liquidate people uh, down at those levels. Okay, we, we do have a lot of 10X uh, levels on the one hour there. Uh, and we also have uh, this daily 10X level, this blue line here, okay, which is super important. All right, as we just talked about, right, uh, all these 10X levels on the daily do get hit usually, all right? So this is the, the kind of next zone that we'll be aiming for uh, if it does want to come down there, and that's at 58.8, all right? So this is why we have such a big short here uh, in, in the plan, in the trading plan. So we'll see if we do want to get there. I imagine it will be a quick wick, okay? Uh, they are, as we talked about in the news just now, guys, uh, they are looking at uh, basically tightening the grip on crypto, uh, particularly before Trump comes in, all right? So we'll see how that goes. Um, and yeah, I, I think one side's going to be super bearish for for crypto, uh, and one side is going to be super bullish for crypto and the stock market. So yeah, we'll be watching that. And if you do want to trade Nasdaq, if you do want to trade Forex, if you do want to trade crypto, feel free to head over to Prime XBT. I did a video on them yesterday. Be sure to check it out. I'll put it in the description. Uh, really cool exchange. They do weekly trade competitions for free as well. So it's like a virtual funds, not real funds. Okay, you trade it over a week, and if you win, you get five hundred bucks. If you come second, I think you get two fifty, uh, and then. Uh, yeah, if, if you come, oh no, 350. And if you come third, you get 150. And that's completely free to, to trade, to enter. Uh, so if you do want to get started with trading and you're a bit newer, uh, that's a great place to kind of test your edge over a week and see if you can win that, all right? Um, <clears throat> Just a little bit of advice there for you guys. Uh, but besides that, yeah, this is really what we're looking for. And that is why we're looking for this bigger trade here, the 6% trade down to this level. Okay, we've also got the 200 EMA here on the daily, which is going to be super crucial and super important uh, to potentially retest here uh, after we challenge this uh, on our 56K, uh, 54K, 53K lows here. I didn't, uh, I forgot I got that low, but crazy, crazy here. Uh, the, the next 10X level towards the upside, if we move this out the way, is at 71.7. So that's going to be an area where I could potentially expect us to wick to if we do break over 70k but the reason why I'm targeting 1% here uh, from 70k uh, is really because uh, it is it's an area uh, where essentially we've got massive, massive volatility around. So I would expect to wick up there, right? But um, I think at 70K, we do get a pullback again, right? So uh, it's it's important to not overstretch here, okay? And yeah, we, we're in an uptrend right now. So uh, if if this does spill over and it looks like it's breaking the structure already, right? If we are just looking at that, um, yeah, I mean, it, it makes more sense that we make a high and come down um, rather than just keep going here. But I'm happy if we do keep going because the market will get uh, considerably easier. If we're, if we're zooming out here to the uh, to the um, longer term here, right? So the daily, uh, the bigger structures that we have here. Uh, and as we said in our Patreon video this morning, we said, hey, we've opened the daily underneath this structural line. So we would expect this to be a downwards day. Okay, we've got the three day volume weighted ATR band here at 64K. That's gonna be an important zone to watch. All right, we also have the middle line of the bull market barrier. Okay, bull market barrier, super important. We get lots of volatility when we are challenging this thing from either side, okay, as you can see there, okay, and you can see it here. So uh, yeah, important there to be watching for a potential bounce or reversal, but also uh, we have that CME kind of thing at, at 60K as well. So it might just smash through it at this point. You'd, you'd you got to be careful about that, right? But uh, we also have this four hour one here as well. If it's super bullish and we are above this four hour, right? Uh, if it's super bullish, then we will just bounce on the four hour. So we'll bounce on this four hour and we will bang it up. Uh, and then ideally we get out of this pattern and then we're looking for a trade from about 74, four, okay, 74, four, uh, all the way up to 82K. And as we talked about here just now with, um, where is this thing gone? Yeah, with the energy value, guys, 
with the energy value being at 79k, right? Uh, and and we're seeing hash ribbons increase, and we're seeing um, the uh, electricity consumption increase, right? Uh, this will go up to about 80k by the time we get that, right? Maybe even 82k. So watch that uh, because that's going to be important level, okay? And if we do go back here, right, we can see uh, this is our linear aggressional growth line. If you don't know what that means, it just comes in from all of uh, Bitcoin's history. If we do zoom out here, right, uh, this line is super, super important for Bitcoin. Okay, it's it's an area that we get over just anyway, just from a structural point of view. Uh, we love to go parabolic on that. So, uh, and we, we also love to oscillate around it as well. So uh, we hit this the first time. This is our initial high here, our all-time high uh, coming through. We hit this and that's when we started going down. If we can break over it next time, then it's, it's just, it's huge. Okay, it's huge for Bitcoin. And then we really begin our bull market. And that is currently, as I said, around these kind of 80, 83, 84K levels. So I imagine the stars will align there uh, with this uh, energy value as well. Okay, the stars, I imagine to align there as we do get up there. So the low 80s, uh, and then we get over that and then we go parabolic from there. So that's the real point. If you are sat there with 100K to a mil, guys, these are the levels you need to watch. Okay, if, if you want a low risk, risk off position, and you just expect Bitcoin to go up, right? That is the area you want to be looking at if, if you don't want to use leverage on it, okay? Because you can still get like a 3x on Bitcoin with that. In terms of bull market tops, I had to cut the video because I uh, left the other screen up and talked for another 20 minutes. So uh, <laughs> we'll wrap this up here, uh, but we'll see. Yeah, in terms of bull market tops, uh, there's a few things I want to uh, talk about here, right? Uh, because I know that is the big question for investors here. Where do I get out at the top, right? Um, essentially, because we've got this linear regressional growth curve, this has plotted in the tops every time, okay? Every single time. And it's also calculated using previous tops. Uh, the reason why I think that uh, the top could either be between kind of like 230, 240K, uh, all the way up to about 340K, which is a massive increase, right? A massive range where we could potentially top at. Um, I think that uh, the 240K uh, is is an area to be watching. Obviously, you could blindly just try and sell at uh, 323 or, three, or 340, 350, wherever it is at that point. Uh, but the reason why that uh, is, the reason why we're going for a lower one, right, is because we didn't actually hit the top side here uh, in the last run. The reason for that is because uh, China in basically initialized some laws or brought in some laws uh, that made mining illegal in China. And that basically cut our run completely short. Hash rate went down as everyone moved their miners all the way over to Singapore. Okay. And that's that's essentially what cut our run short. Otherwise, we would have likely hit 100k last run. All right. Uh, and yeah, from that point, we, we sunk into a, an abysmal bear market here. A disgusting, disgusting. But um, yeah, the, the reason why uh, I'm cutting this, this short this time around and, and going as low as 240K, as low as 240K, still pretty high, okay, is because this linear regressional growth curve may have changed based on this recent high. So we've got to look at the previous data. There's more data to support it getting to here, of course. But uh, yeah, we will we'll keep that in consideration. Just say, hey, what if this line has curved more uh, and we, we can't see it yet, right? So uh, we will be initiating that range between 240 and kind of 350K, uh, that kind of area uh, in terms of our bull market tops, all right? That is going to be it from me, guys. Hope you have a fantastic day. Uh, and yeah, keep trading safe out there. Again, follow the Patreon if you do want uh, a lot of stuff. And those of you guys that are in the Patreon and are YouTube memberships that get the same benefits as Patreon, right? Uh, what I will say to you guys is uh, if you haven't claimed your ebook yet, please do, okay? It's, I spent a long time making them. They have all of the altcoins that I have in my portfolio and they have all of the targets that I'm looking to hit, okay, for this run. So uh, yeah, if you're looking to accumulate altcoins, okay, feel free to check out that ebook. Okay, if you've, if you've signed up for the Patreon, it is yours. You can get it for free, no extra cost. It's part of it, okay? And depending on your tier subscription, uh, then yes, um, you will get more. Uh, I, I've designed like four eBooks, okay? So one of them has like 30 coins, the other one is 50, the other one is 60, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, if that is in something that interests you and you are a Patreon, then be sure to check that out. Uh, if not, absolutely fine. And if you do want to check out the Patreon, cool. If not, again, absolutely fine. Enjoy this free content. I enjoy teaching you guys. Have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'm here for you at the end of the day. Uh, and let me know, do you think uh, Ethereum is going to be super bullish now? Or do you think it's overhyped? Uh, I'm really interested to know that. And uh, if you have made it this far in the video, congratulations, guys. Congratulations. What I will say is if you have, just be sure to comment, News Hamilton is better than AI, not AI. <laughs>
<laughs> News Hamilton is better than TA Hamilton uh, if you have made it this far into this video, okay? Uh, so uh, if you do that, I will give you uh, one week on the volume weighted ATR band. Just be sure to put your trading view name after your comment as well, right? So I know to add you to the indicator, okay? I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a fantastic one and um, yeah, trade safe out there. Cheers.